And we're live. Not the best camera angle, but it'll have to do. Can they even hear us out there? Huh? Can they even hear us out there? Yeah. I kind of want to go play. It's not that picture. Oh, shit. Got Central Michigan versus VCU, which I believe is Virginia Commonwealth University. Yeah. Yep. No. Just starting their program off. This is their first nationals they're attending? Yeah. That's awesome. Central Michigan looks to be at even ball control with VCU. VCU's got two out. Central Michigan's two. Is James playing? I have no clue. All right, we'll call it two. <laughs> Great catch by the always amazing Brett Hadwin. Rocks it with a fist pump. Goes for the kill. Does not find it. Oh, uh -oh. Another great catch by the amazing Brett Hadwin leading this team to victory. Oh man, this is quick. It's like a kill. hot knife through butter. <laughs> the amazing Brett Hadwin has finally dropped. Someone has slain the dragon. Peter Bro in his notorious catching stance. Zach Nevidal goes for a kill, unsuccessful. Buffalo with a puck take of a lifetime. Buffalo wearing Chris Kohler's jersey. Uh, a nice catch by Cam Milbots from across. Can't catch him sleeping. Newton, 9.81. <laughs> Had a nice block from hard thrower Central Michigan Zach Wagner, aka Zach Wagner. You look to push back Central Michigan. Oh, a slick dodge from across by number 43 of VCU, Ota. Good blocking by Wes Peters with a nice soccer kick back to his teammates. And the incredible Brett Hedman is back in. Go! 
This is gonna get good. This is like, why is this like this? I don't know. Wes was setting it up. I wonder if we have any viewers right now. Yeah, are we live streaming this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. I wonder if we can see it. We have three viewers, I think. I think that's what that people Oh, is. really? Yeah, I think so. What's up, three viewers? Oh. VCU's number three, Huang, got hit with a cross when he was taking a nap on the court. Mm. Can't Chuck's bring a pillow out, out there. Oh, Chuck's back in. Never mind. Chuck's back in. Can't keep, can't keep that dog down, Keller. You just can't keep that dog down. <laughs> We have no one out right now. <laughs> Peter Bro with a throw wide left. Ota with a nice throw on Zach Nevidal's ankles, but blocked by the young rookie. Zach Nevidal points. Oh, and such a close Nevidal. drop by the number 43 of Ota from VCU. Almost caught. Hard throw is Zach Nevidal from Central Michigan. I don't even know what to say. It's all right, Cotton. It's a give and take. You said an underpants, Cotton. <laughs> we got two remaining players for VCU, number female. six and 32, both female. Standing as the 15 of Central Michigan strong, Prill. not batting an eye. Tyler Prill usually has no mercy against the females. Oh, okay. Bolt still in after two unsuccessful throws and one goes down. One remains. Can she rebuild the empire that is VCU? Oh, oh West Peters with a West. diving catch. Talk about an award, Cotton. Knee brace and all. Knee brace and all. That boy is making a quick recovery. Not very nimble, but he <laughs> makes it happen. <laughs> Scott uh, Valley, number two, sporting the mullet as he sets up the balls for the situation. Like he doesn't have it designed right now. Yeah, Mike, we got a lot of uh, interesting facial hair and hairstyles from CMU this year. It seems to be a trend on their team. Alex Holskin usually... Uh, <laughs> Alex Holskin, a.k.a. the Peacock. Yeah, rocking half the flow. <laughs> half the beard. So are all of these games being live streamed? I think so. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know computers. That one doesn't look like it is. That's the one that should be. Is Towson actually good? Towson's not bad. They had some arms. Good cross by the cross court of Towson versus Saginaw. That you guys can't see. Yeah, we might as well just start broadcasting the game. Yeah, we're going to broadcast this whole goddamn dang event. Can I swear on this? I probably can't West swear. You can, yeah. You can swear? Yeah, I think so. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Rough go for VCU, only obtaining three balls out of the ten. They didn't get any last time, did they? Didn't get any? I don't think so. I was running, I was running up here to help commentate, Cotton. Lesky got the uh, the far one on this, in the middle, like their side. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, it was man. Bad. A nice behind the back move by Zach Nevidal, throwing behind the back of one of his players. Classic move. He's rocking the uh, classic porn stash for this tournament. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, and Tyler Prill, number 21 for Central Michigan, goes down with a rocket hill to the shoulder. From Lamy. From Lamy, number zero. The guy's name is AK-62. I find that unlikely. I really don't know why I just didn't do AK-67. Or 47. Make yeah, AK-47. Oh, Peter. Oh! Peter, number 54, is a fucking cheater because <laughs> he just got hit and is not going out for Central Michigan. Oh, a good catch. Oh, a by, nice uh, catch by number Bosco. eight, Bosco for VCU. Catching if he's Italian, Jeremy Mike. Buffalo. Ooh, Chuck. That is the question, Cotton. <laughs> Chuck usually not catching. Mike. <laughs> Pulls off a <laughs> couple of mics up here. <laughs> Mike and Mike. <laughs> Chuck, not known for his catching ability, pulls out uh, many, uh, another trick in the bag. Playing in jeans. Yeah, there, there is a guy playing in jeans. We'll probably learn. We'll choice, learn soon Mike. enough. It is their first year as a program. True. That's true, Mike. They wind up for. Oh, an interesting throw from number 10 Fisher at ECU. Really brought a different dynamic to his arm there. What do you think, Mike? 
Uh, to be honest, I really hear what you said. This is my Zach, didn't you? <laughs> Interesting dynamic to his arm. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Oh, that guy's got a bag of ice. Think the trainers just give those out? I don't know, Cotton. I might need one though. <laughs> That's kind of why I'm sitting out. <laughs> That's definitely why I'm up here. Oh! oh. Er number zero. Oh, almost taking you down. Oh, I thought he hit a shoe. Out. He should be out. Well, it's notorious that Central's a pack of cheaters. So. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing to get out by a girl, though, so. You're not wrong, Mike. You're not wrong. Oh, Peter Rowe with the flip move. I don't know if he's actually ever hit someone with that move, but he usually tries it once a game. Oh! Oh, Wes oh, Peters thanks. tries to throw a cross-court rocket, but caught by the blue hands of number 32, Robertson, who is female. <laughs> Oh, now Wes is back. The Valley, known for his catching, obviously. The VCU player, not taking credit to credit is due. <laughs> A nice throw, and then catch, and then block by number 10's VCU, Mike. You just don't see that every day. Number 10's VCU? You won't see that in a Saginaw game. Okay. <laughs> hey, we got another viewer. We are Four viewers. rolling right now. Number 10 on VCU is actually pretty good. Leski coming to the line. Rips off a nice uh, throw. Buffalo. Buffalo. Ooh, a little short. Notorious strong arm for Central Michigan. Kicks back and tries his aim, but it's just to no avail, Mike. No Kevin. Avail. Kevin. Woo! Kevin with the kill. You can say that three times fast. <laughs> a nice block by number four is oh. his last name for VCU. Jake Leski pulls off the catch. Nonchalant like. Jake Lesky tries to throw that rocket arm he has down the court, but can't Ooh. find Oh, Tyler Prill Tyler goes Prill down. Gets out by a girl. Again. Second time there, Mike. I'm seeing a pattern. Yeah. I think we should talk more about how Jake Lesky is uh, one of the more eccentric people in this league. <laughs> I mean, if we start talking about Jake Lesky, Mike, who knows when we'll stop. That's true. There's way too much to talk about. That's true. Recently started his stand-up comedy career. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Our four viewers. I'm yes, not kidding. Our four viewers. Our president is a comedian. Jake Lesky with the uh, the old changeup. Ooh, a nice under under the between the legs by Fisher. Fisher's really putting on a show here really is. for VCU. Oda with a nice cross on Wes Peters, but blocked. Peter shows no remorse <laughs> when it comes to him Bills. This game is surprisingly even for the young VCU team. It really is. They're really stepping up and putting CMU in their place. You might even say CMU's getting cocky, Mike. Maybe. I wonder what Captain Brett A nice Brett throw Hedwin. from Oda. I wonder what Brett Hedwin has to say for this game. Well, as usual, probably nothing positive, Mike. <laughs> Mike is currently talking football. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't stop that boy. Oh, we have a guest commentator. Guest Take speaker. the spotlight. You just got to commentate the game. Say what's going on. Say your name. This is Daniel Wheeler, Western Kentucky University. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a neat tournament, man. I mean, cool play to Is this your first time seeing dodgeball? No, my second. You can't play. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Do you find it enjoyable? I actually tried to play my freshman year, but then I just... You just ain't with it? I realized that this wasn't for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I do enjoy watching it, though. It is a very high-intense sport when we get it going. So who's your favorite, other than the Chippewas? Well, <laughs> yeah, if we're not going to count the Chippewas, the Lakers of Grand Valley are coming into this tournament at rank one. Oh, they are. They and are they're awesome. awfully good. They have only lost to one team in two years. And that was against awesome. that team. Central Michigan. It is that wow, team. Wow, so. This guy is a good guesser, folks. <laughs> Where did y'all beat him at? At our hometown. We put, home. we put the tournament on. I mean, that's like all we talk about. We're kind of assholes about it. We bring it up like every time. <laughs> but yeah. They're, all, they're the favorite to come in because they're a very good team. They lost today in pool no. play? No, they haven't. They've had surprisingly close games. And lost points to surprisingly they, yeah, questionable teams. Dropped points and had close matches overall. Ooh. Have, you, have you guys lost yet? 
We have not yeah, lost yet. Two no so far. So Looking to clinch a 3-0 victory on Saturday. If so, we beat BCU. So did they like put teams in groups of four? And y'all play every team yeah. in the yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. Like and then they seed people accordingly. Yeah. I like how they did. How they win. Jake Lesky showboating, <laughs> looking to eat his words here when he takes on two VCU players. <laughs> so how do y'all feel girls fare in the game of Cotton? Uh, not well. We give, it, we give them props for trying. Not well, Cotton. Not well. <laughs> they, um, we have three on our team. Only one has made the trip. She hasn't, hasn't stepped on the court yet. <laughs> nerves, like nerves. <laughs> Although JMU is uh, JMU. accompanied yeah, by an impressive it. looking <laughs> squad of women. I know, I, I actually was sitting by a few of them actually. Were you just sitting me. by them? And when they were over there playing Ohio State, I was actually. They're off the They explained to me the overtime rules. So. Okay. Oh, this is the overtime game you watched? Yeah. That was Six, intense. Yeah, I know. About the guy playing jeans. <laughs> we uh, already commented on him, no, and we thought his him. choice was not wise. That's He'll learn. Not. It's his first tournament. He doesn't know any better. Surprisingly, he still left. <laughs> oh, what Peters. a catch! What a catch! Oh, caught by number six of Muth of VCU. The girl caught one of CMU's most experienced <laughs> players of West Peters. We gained another viewer because of that catch. We're up to five viewers. <laughs> Is this live? This is Here's live stream. <laughs> You're in the spotlight, baby. <laughs> this is big time. Girl looks to get a kill, but to no luck. Oh, a nice cross by Buffalo. How long it's was the trip up here? Too long, my friend. Eight hours. So a lot of teams from Michigan and Virginia here. Yeah. Michigan is like the notorious dodgeball state. That's where most of the teams are. There's like three teams from Ohio, too. You got Ohio State, Akron, yep. and Kent State. Yeah. What about Townsend? That's what they're in. Towson? Towson's in uh, Maryland. Maryland's up there, too. Yeah. And there's two other teams in the league that didn't make it. There's a Nebraskan team. Yeah, and a Nebraska. Texas team. No, Texas. Yep. They didn't make it because uh, they're near nobody. For the hilltop, and I don't, they, they, they didn't do so well against um, the call. No. They went three to one. Yeah. Central Michigan takes the first point on VCU, going up one nothing in this close match. Eleven fifteen left to play. Oh, two zero. <laughs> takes the second point against the games VCU. Games kind of blend together. <laughs> Commenting. Yeah, it's eleven minutes left in the first half. So how long y'all been playing? Uh, we got here at nine thirty. Oh, wait a minute. Do you mean like us as players? Yeah. Uh, I figured the first my answer didn't make any sense. I've been playing for three years. This is my second year. This is second year. Mike's second year and this is Mike's third year. <laughs> oh, two Mike. Mike. Two Mikes. Mike and Mike. Mike and Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike and Mike. 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 Mike you guys have a really beautiful campus. It's, it's great. Like, Jesus. Our Central's campus is like just a flat piece of square mile, and then that's it. You got nothing. How big do you think Central's campus is? Not very big. No. Definitely not this big. No, yours is bigger, that's for sure. And I, and I talked to somebody from Michigan State, they said their campus is like. No, okay, Michigan State's Michigan got a huge State's campus. is too big. Yeah, no, I heard it's like one of the biggest. Campus. They have a huge campus. But I still think yours is like a lot. It's just a huge Y'all get to go to basketball games and the whole game for free? Yeah. We had, to, we had to pay to park there when we went up there for our tournament. Which is stupid. You guys, this is the first green grass we've seen in months. It's freezing! Oh, we dropped the viewer. This winter, oh yeah, this is fucking fuck the grass. <laughs> this winter's been the worst Michigan winter. This grass is like, what? what what is that? What's that green stuff they got outside? It's pretty brown right now. Yeah. It's pretty soggy. Well, good luck to y'all. I'm going to head back. All right. Appreciate, it. Work. Appreciate it, man. Oh, that Enjoy. sucks. No tops. <laughs> <laughs> we gained a viewer. Oh, okay. Back to five. They are like, no, that guy's gone. Okay. <laughs> After pulling out a guest commentator. Maybe the that girl that's going to run around. Going there? What? 
Oh, the, this one around here? Yeah, that girl with the maroon leggings. She can guess compensate. <laughs> Seems to be a debacle. Quickly solved. Oh. You know, Mike, I give these uh, give these BCU girls some credit. They're sticking their head right in there. They are. Aggressive. Make some catches. They're showing no fear, Mike. And that's the kind of tenacity you need. Exactly. As uh, Nugget, also known as Chris Kohler, 55, goes for a headshot but barely misses. Nice catch by Kevin Reed. We expect nothing less. Yeah. Kevin. Known as the hands of the team and is put in during key situations. He does a quick talk to his fans about his amazing catch on the sidelines and continues the game. Oh, he gets and caught. And throws a catch. Ooh. That has been claimed the ground. You know, Mike the real oh. oh. The jeans guy snags Number him. 17, Bobby of Bobby. BCU catches Chuck from Central Michigan, who is notoriously strong. Another catch by Double Zero ER. She is on fire. I give her props. She caught Zach Backner, which is one of the assistant captains of Central Michigan. No slouch in the arm department, Mike. He is. He needs to start throwing overhand more, though. Yeah, he needs to stop throwing his post across the line, if you yeah, know what I'm saying. I agree. Too much side on. Ooh, LaValle pulls him in. More like LaMountain. <laughs> Big time player. LaValle and Prill look to line up a target. Prill is zones in. A oh. nice pump fake has the back line. We're legitimately losing right now. We're losing? Oh, one, shoot. One oh, five God. People. Hold on. We're, that looks better. Us. Okay, we're good. That looks better. It does look better. Maybe he's tilted. A it's quick so adjustment. Good. A Snapchat. We got a Snapchat. From Wes's girlfriend. Ah. Probably none of our business. <laughs> we might meddle. <laughs> Great catch by Zach Nevidal. Oh, Mike, I am hungry. I am very hungry. It's it sounds like a steakhouse kind of night for me. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Just some black steakhouse and ice kind of night. Maybe some root beer. Oh, this is my kind of commentating, Mike. I can listen to this commentating all day. The Food Network. The Food Network. Brought to you. I'm Mike and Mike at the dodgeball. <laughs> Let's learn how to have a good meal after dodgeball. Oh, we went we went back up a viewer. Back up to five. This game's really bringing it in. Nice block by Peter Bro, who's notorious for catching like shit. <laughs> Almost gets crossed, sleeping on the court, flirting up with Zach Nevidal. <laughs> Winds up blocked by VCU Taylor, number 13. Never mind. Yeah, still going out. He's still going out because uh, he standing. just don't care. Oh, he's officially out. He just, oh, Peter Bro, notoriously out from his uh, reckless charge as he sluggishly slides off the court. He does have a solid mustache, though. He does. We're not going to diss his facial hair. I wonder if they can even hear us. I feel like it's so loud. I don't know. Wes said they can't hear us. Wes said they can? No, yeah. So How I, the hell would Wes know? I didn't see Mike and Mike. can pick it up. I guess that's all right. Ooh. Between the legs try by Zach Nevin, all countered by between the legs try at number 69, BCU. Both unsuccessful. A double throw by Wes and uh, Tyler Prill of Central Michigan. Nevin all goes back out. Cam answers with a nice under-the-hand throw, but no one seen to connect yet. They just can't seem to find the target, Mike. BCU, BCU looks, to be, <laughs> looks to be taking the offensive. Trying to catch Central Michigan sleeping oh. as they throw away three balls <laughs> they throws to no targets. The throws are a little weak right now. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to have the wind knocked out of them when Ocha strikes a pose. Oh, good block by uh, Bosco. Bosco using the Scala. Oh, what a Great catch. catch by number eight Bosco of BCU. One handed grab on Jacob Lesky. Very slow, underhanded throw to try to catch him off guard. Not this time, Mike. Not this time. Not this time. Hey, Central Michigan is quite a few people out right now. Central Michigan is not on the... Oh, oh Joe Cobus. Joe Cobus has a people. problem catching the change-ups, Yeah, Mike. Joe's not the best catcher. No. He, is a he struggles with the change-ups. He, he has a really good arm for his year, though. He does. Very promising uh, aspect of Central Michigan's team. 
Central Michigan is actually down people right now, Mike. Oda throws a high flyer through the crowd, but connects with none. Oh! Number 69 of ECU tried to catch him when he wasn't looking with a cross-court shot. Can we seriously go to the steakhouse now? That sounds like super good. It sounds incredible. Like a, some nice good food. I don't even care if it's like expensive. I'll spend like something like yeah. five bucks. Right? It's worth it. I don't want this cheap ass team holding me morale. back from my gains. I had too much Wendy's still like that. Oh man, fuck Wendy's. Oh, James, the elusive creature that he is. Oh, but he throws a catch. You see you catching pretty decently. Oda, number 43, has caught very well this play. He's really showing up here. I think he's a pretty good catcher. Oh, another another back-to-back -back catches. All he right. catches Kevin it's Green. <laughs> Central Michigan is looking to drop this point to the young VCU squad. Wes Peters puts up his arms in disgust. <laughs> you see what did there? The captain, known for positive yeah. encouragement, is turning to surprise and negative. We lost two viewers on that catch, Mike. Oh, down to three. Granted, they can only see half the court. That's but. true. <laughs> Wes Peters winds up. Nope. Easily swatted away. He said, number zero, get that shit out of here, Wes. Timeout call by Central Michigan to realize how they are fucking up. Only five minutes left here in the first half. But the commentator's going to take a break to go watch an interesting game that's looking to be a little close. Are you leaving me? No. Oh, okay. Just kidding, Mike. That game is also in a timeout. Towson and Saginaw Valley going at it. Vulgarity being spewed in VCU's timeout huddle. We can only assume fun is being had, Mike. <laughs> We're back up to five. We're back at it. We just need a small timeout break to really get it going. I guess so. That steakhouse talks at our viewers licking their lips. Maybe some ice cream. Superman ice cream sounds great. Uh, I'm not a fan of ice cream. Dairy product is not good for your body. That is true. It's very, very tasty. Yeah, it, I'm... You don't need ice cream. No argument here. You want to commentate with us? You want to guest commentate? No. We're live. Yeah, we're, oh, is it live? Yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. your name. Who's Say, looking at it? Uh, five we don't, people. Five, five unknown people. people. Six. Six is people. Six? Yeah. Six. Because we brought guest commentator in, we gained a viewer. Can you think for you guys? The girl on the right, Mike, she's kind of cute. Yeah, she was. Oda looks to take an aggressive stance here, as you guys can finally see VCU's team in the camera frame. They put Brett Hadwin back in because uh, we're Brett about to Hadwin lose. is suggesting a shit. We're about to lose, so it's yeah. Central so Michigan's on dire straits, one might say. Buffalo with an extremely wild pump fake. And it steps out of bounds pumps. by at least a foot. Oh, there we go. And gets somebody out and is a cheater, Mike. He's a cheater. No one notices but us. Some Peter might Peter. say he eats pumpkins. Peter's glancing at us. He knows. Peter knows. <laughs> Peter knows. He holds his head up in disgust. Oh, Buffalo. Oh. Buffalo. He really, he really shouldn't take it easy on ER, though. She's made some nice catches. She has made some great catches. She's established herself as a threat. It's all up to really Oda to show himself as that eliminator that he's been known to be with his catching ability. Another timeout. And an obnoxious noise by Peter. Of course that was Peter. Yeah. That's still going. Peter! Yep. I would expect one more. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another one. Wait for it. No. <laughs> Under the tear in the end, Mike. <laughs> One more to start the half, I'm sure. <laughs> like reading a little seventh grade book, Mike. He's still got his hand on it. He's still his hand on it. He's a little kid known to be. Oh, and he puts it back. Okay. Tenacious with his toys. We got four on uh, six here. With three minutes and 30 seconds talking? left in the half, Mike. Hammond looks to run the offensive. Max off people gets a ball. Gets a third ball. 
A nice hit under there. Star catcher Odo from Brent Hadwin, Central Michigan's captain. Oh, Wes oh, gets Wes caught. Peters with a grunt. This is semi-dangerous. Getting a little bit iffy here. Bobby's chugs open his jeans. <laughs> you gotta think the jeans are slowing him down, Mike. He'll learn, he'll learn. Really restricting his flexibility. Yeah, shorts are shorts are known for their increased flexibility. Power Crow looks to mark the offensive, but to no success. Oda is not in, that is a look-alike of Wang. <laughs> 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 he throws one that skims by Buffalo's bulky knees. Grill looks to throw. Oh, knocks her right out of her hands. Better luck next yeah. time. We've gone dark. Yeah. Oh. We've gone dark. We are fixing the problem. I don't know how to fix it. It's gone rogue on us. Our video has gone rogue. So now we're a radio broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> This is over to Mike and Mike Radio in the morning. Brett Hedwin gets Bobby out. Oh, Brett Hedwin looked like he got tagged, but he's a cheating whore and stays in. <laughs> Just like the rest of Central Michigan's dodgeball team. Buffalo with his pump thing that you can't see, but boy, is it a sight for sore eyes. Nice block Ooh. by Tyler Pro. He almost breaks his ankles. He retorts with a strong throw, but goes over the head to the VCU. Fucks with this thing, man. I really don't know what's going on with this. Just like went rogue. We are college students. We are getting an education, but we do not know how to fix this currently. Not my major. I have to ask Buffalo about that. He's a broadcast major. That's Cam. Oh no, that's both. That's both. We got multiple. What the hell is wrong with this? We still have six viewers, so obviously they're not deterred by our radio broadcast. It is a nice, generous hue of purple. <laughs> I mean, if you want to appreciate the game, then you're definitely appreciating this color, Mike. Better than black and white. Better than the blood being spilled by Central's dodgeball team. Oh, Alex. Oh, Alex Hogan. The half a hair. What's his name? What's his last Holsgen. name? Holzgen. Holzgen? Holzgen. I never pronounced that fucker's last name. Oh, Prill. Ooh. Hey, we, oh. got, we got a comment. We should read this. Oh, a comment. They're probably like... Radio's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. We appreciate you for staying too with Mike and Mike in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, there's a comment again. Another one. Most likely from Shannon. Oh, it's from Shadi. This is too funny Thanks, and Shadi. I love it. Shadi, we're doing it just for you, buddy. So they can hear us. It's... Yeah. Uh, any input to how we can fix this would be greatly appreciated. As I know this uh, game had you... Had a, Enthralled. Yeah, had you your seat. <laughs> Enthralled. We are shooting vocabulary. If, if nothing else, you're learning vocabulary words in this broadcast. Haha, uh -huh, appreciate you too. Mike, this is the kind of love you just don't get in other sports, let me tell you. It really makes you feel appreciated. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, I'm going to try to fiddle with this. What if I, ooh, if I pause it, I think we're going to lose our viewers. Yeah, I wouldn't pause. Maybe. No, I'm not going to pause it. Maybe that, the camera. I feel like this switches uh, it towards us. Oh. I fixed oh, it. What's up, guys? I fixed it. What's going on? This is the broadcast team of Mike, Mike and Mike. Mike. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to try and revert it here. Uh, let's go close. I think let's switch it back. Oh, yo, I don't is, know. This is difficult. I'm not sure. Maybe we could turn it around. <laughs> Probably less, less quality. Just the whole camera? There we go. Thanks, Shadi. We appreciate it. Man, this is we, difficult. Uh, we lost footage. Yeah, we are struggling. It's it, it went blank, and now it's on us. We're doing a radio broadcast now. Yeah, and we got friends. <laughs> we're, we're making friends. We're they think with our we viewers. can't. It says you're not connected to a GoPro. It says you're not connected to a GoPro. When we try to go back to the front, it says. What do you mean turn it? Fuck you. 
Well, what does this look like? The quality's not going to be as good. Our viewers demand the best. Yeah. We're putting on a damn show. Whatever, you guys look much better than this game anyway. Okay. That is true. Our viewers don't need to see what's going on. They just trust us. I mean, I'm a pretty sight, but I'd rather watch the game. I agree. I did it! Hey! Oh hey. my god, the boy is a wonder. The boy's a wonder. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate it. You were also hilarious, I bet. Been away from Tyler Prill. He's down there somewhere. You know me? I made it. I made it. Seven viewers. We got Woo. seven viewers. You don't know shit seven about viewers. seven viewers. Seven we viewers. We got friends. They're talking to us. Which one's your Shannon? girlfriend? Is Shannon, your girlfriend? Hey, hey Shannon. Shannon. Shout out to Tyler Shannon. Says hi. Shannon says, hey. Wes's mom. Hey, we Wes. Wes's mom. Shout out to Wes's Wes. mom. Michelle, shout out to Michelle. Hey, where's Wes? Get him. What? We we commentated a lot on you, bro. What? We commentated the shit out of you. Wes. Yeah. Uh, I think I don't remember. I get Wes. We're real. We're real. Bam, 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 bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Style commentating. Uh, Brill has a great butt. There you go. Wes's mom says hi. Your mom says hi. Hi, mom. We have more. Is that the live stream? Yeah. Seven. <laughs> we got, uh... Hey, eight. My parents are watching you. All right, eight. Wes, go out in the middle. We can't see this side. There's Wes Peters. Shout out right there. Hi, mom. Ty Brill. Brill! Brill! Where is he? I hate how Brill's half deaf. That is true, he is half deaf. Hey, your girlfriend says she knows you have a nice butt. Yeah, no, <laughs> I said nice butt, she says I know. There it is. Yeah, this camera does not do close up, so you are shit out of luck. Unless you want to come up here, we can. Mess this up again. You get really weird then. Eight viewers. Eight viewers. I mean, if we aren't doing the best well, job, I don't nine. know who is. Technically nine. Because of his pairs together. That's true. If we get like a more encompassing view, I feel like it'd be better. I feel like that phone's about to fall out though. You think so? A little wobbly. I don't know, man. I feel like since we can't see Central, which is the only team I want to see. That's true. That's all right. Shannon can look at Pearl's nice butt from this angle. There you go. Which is a gift to us all, Mike. I, I got to agree. <laughs> that boy's got glutes. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for this game to start. Apparently some uh, deliberation needs to be had. There's a strange sun glare coming through. A strange hue, would you, you see say that? I do see it. It's pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. It's a color I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind uh, coloring bright. with. It is bright. And the point begins. They start the second half off with a 3 0 lead. Uh, attempted Ooh, counter by number we have 40 a, of Zach Our Nimmo. coach is currently playing in his business attire. Oh, we have Coach Milla taking the court. First throw is a no-go. Expect a lot of that. Is he wearing the bow tie? I cannot tell from a single. He, he is. is. He is wearing the bow tie. I don't wear the bow tie. We were commenting on that guy's jeans. I feel like we have now yep. no right. We have a guy dressed in a uh, button-down shirt and khakis. Dress shoes, which is not good for a basketball floor, but that's beside the point. Alex's mom's in the house. <laughs> Alex's mom. Alex's mom, shout out. Milla is playing. We are up 3-0, and uh, he feels that it's his time to shine. He's currently asking for balls and receiving none because our team is smarter than that. So Alex's mom, how do you feel about his new hairdo? Have yeah. you seen it yet? The peacock. He does look like a peacock. He does resemble peacocks. In attitude and looks. <laughs> <laughs> a nice tag by uh, Brian Delling. Oh, Delling's playing? I guess so. I guess nice. the comes in, anything's, anything goes. Right, that's what I wanted to happen. 
Shave Alex fully. This is his dad. Buffalo Bring it home. Steps out of bounds. <laughs> I got first round on me. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. It will shave it fully if we bring it home. Alex that seems is currently on the bench. We can see him rotate the camera a little bit. Just pick it up. Right down there. There's our bench with Alex, a.k.a. the Peacock. We're good. All right. I'd like to shave Alex's head fully for a nice victory shave. Or like maybe... For the victory game, we shave it. Although, if we are undefeated at that point, it may be good luck. It, true, we don't want to mess with it. Ain't nothing like some good uh, superstitions to carry you through a victory. Milla is backing down numerous people. He does not care. Oh, 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 he goes and down. The big fella goes he down. goes down in a deep. suit and bow tie and all. Ooh, Pro gets hit in the face. That's, Pro gets drilled. That's not good. Shannon's probably not happy about that one. No, but he still has a nice butt, Mike. <laughs> At least he didn't get hit there. We got it on film. Yeah, we, we got it. A nice team throw by Central Michigan, except they all miss and one gets caught. What is Central winning by? The score currently is 3-0 Central with 22 minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. I give VCU props. I thought it was going to be about 10 minutes. VCU is putting on a good show for their first time in a tournament. A couple of their players really stood out to me. You're welcome, Aaron. <laughs> oh, we have our own Wreck-It Ralph who tried a one-handed catch, but uh, to no avail. To no avail. Wreck-It's a, uh, a noob. He is a First noob. First playing dodgeball. Jake Lesky with an expert dodge. He's one of the more elusive creatures he on Central's team. Rocking Often the, compared to a gazelle. Yeah. He's got the Wolverine facial hairstyle. He does have the saber tooth. Saber tooth. Saber tooth, okay. Rocking his trademark cheesy Central Michigan striped socks. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Central looks to be in a pretty close game with VCU. Once again, each point has been no blowout. Oh, Huang. Oh! Oh, Huang to the back of the head. Put that on a bumper sticker, Mike. <laughs> In the face. <laughs> uh, making our job easy, Aaron. I can't wait to get ice. Me too. Shoulders a little painful. Oh, a nice between the legs from 69, but to be eliminated by Jake Lesky. Solid foot He's not to be fucked with. A little low by the VCU thrower. Oh, Ooh, James, James tries to block down. the ball with his right shoulder, he left does, shoulder. He does not go into rage mode. Here he does not. Known for his quick temper. Known for his quick temper on the lead. You got to admit, though, blocking with your left shoulder is not good strategy, Mike. Probably not. You definitely want to block with the ball. Old strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Let's see how it plays out for him. Nine viewers. Nine viewers. Nine viewers. Oh, back Steady down mobbing. Back uh, down to eight. Uh, all right, whatever. I'm good with eight. That's a core eight. I mean, though. technically nine, still. That's a core eight. Core. That's right. Ooh, great catch by Zach Nevidoff from the cross from 9.81. Even though they can't see it at all. No. That's why we're commentating it, Mike. This must be a radio show for how much description kind of a, and detail. Kind of a half radio broadcast. Yeah. For how much detail we give, Mike, they're basically here. That's true. We are their eyes. Zach Nevidoff with a great pump fake, really backing those boys down. And girls. And girls. I don't want to be sexist. The girls have definitely put on a good show in this game. We week. have Scott LaValle's, uh, who is assistant captain's girlfriend, currently playing for Central Michigan. She's, oh, she is. She's in. in. She's never played before. She has never played, but she has a ball and she's flinching. She's ready. And she's ready to go. Buffalo with the most abnormal pump fake the league will ever see. Oh, Buffalo. Oh, tries down. to block it with his back and is successful, but is out. <laughs> Deck Nevidal with a hop, skip, and a jump over to the right side. Oh, swing and a miss. Quickly back pedals to his safety of baseline. Kevin Breed looks to eliminate people one by one. Oh, a nice block by Oda. Known for his catching prowess, however. Oda has showed up. 
I had a pretty pretty bad joke there, but I kept it to myself, my <laughs> VCU, oh, Buffalo gets hit on the sidelines. Gets hit again because low battery of 20% remaining. This broadcast might come to an early close. Yeah, West really needs to charge his phone. Yeah, he sure Especially does. when we go live here. Oda whips one across the court. Connects with no one. Jake, quick reflexes, blocks it as it bounces to him. Throws a quick flick of the wrist to the right side of the court, blocked by Peter Bro, who's uh, helping him maintain court pressure. Wes's dad, zoom in more, boys. Uh, this is non, non-negotiable non zoom frame. We are on a cell phone. We yeah. can try. Maybe, yeah, it might work. Oh, no. The whole uh, fingers on the fingers on the phone's not working, and that's the, the depth of my technological skills. So, that's not changing. We could give them a uh, floor-level view if you want to risk it. Should we do it? I often like my chair. That's true. I do like this chair. Give them more of a like a panoramic. Yeah. In the action view viewpoint. They're basically here. All right, so we got VCU down to five people, maybe six if that guy's not cheating. Nice catch by Zach Nevidal. Now down to five. Zach Nevidal goes for the double kill. He is not successful, and he's back penalty quickly. Oh. Bosco narrowly avoids death. Bosco with two balls and a steady, stern look. Is, uh, nice seeking, <laughs> seeking out a couple of Central Michigan's players. Oh, there. wreck it round oh, with a pump fake. Pump fake with no ball. Effective strategy, Cotton. TT looking to hide behind Prill for the kill. No, can't be found. Too bad, so sad. Brian Delling appearing in his first tournament ever. That is true. Looking to get, I think, his first kill. I haven't seen one of his kills yet. He's also rocking some nice Kobe's. He's I am a also. fan of Kobe's. You are a fan of Kobe's? It's a simple design and effective. Uh, I'm not a fan of the yellow. It does not. It clashes. It clashes, man. But it matches our team colors. Does it? Kind of. <laughs> Speaking of yellow, Kevin's shoes are definitely interesting. You're not wrong there, Mike. Which is often the case. I don't even know what type of shoes those are. Soccer shoes or those? If we're talking about shoes, I think we need to bring up pearl shoes. The gray and bright orange. Uh, with maroon and gold. With the maroon and gold socks. I'm not feeling it, Mike. I'm just not feeling it. Definitely clashing colors. Kevin pulls in the catch. Now, these are shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Riley breaking out the, uh, the black Nikes for the first time today. Purchased yesterday specifically for this tournament. Peter Bro with a cross, but that's just not finding his target these days. And VCU down to their last three people. 15 minutes remaining in the half. CMU's got 12 in. The first point that CMU has really dominated. That like, is actually true. Yeah, and most games have been off and close. That looked like he got him, but he's a cheater. Nice block by Kevin. Looked to the counter, but he decided against it. Right side looks to form a team throw with Marissa, Scott's girlfriend. Will she get the kill? She looks hesitant, Mike. Has she thrown one yet? She has not. She's held that ball for the entirety. Uh-oh, oh, this might not be good. Bosco's coming. Bosco, Marissa, this is your time to shine. Oh, she backs away from the opportunity. Really a sniper in the weeds. She really is. Ooh, oh, she looked for it. She looked for it. Showed some guts. You had to think there's oh. a better opportunity than that. We got TT in. TT in. Tara McNabb. Flexing. In a no-flex zone. That's true. <laughs> oh! Gets caught trying to catch a cross from opponent VCU. Come on, T! I didn't know. I didn't know if that was appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting the cramp here, Mike. Oh, I got the cramps aren't good. Start eating some pickles. Chalk it off. Get off. Aaron says get off the chair. Get off the chair. Black Nike swag. <laughs> she likes your swag. I mean, the Nikes aren't wrong. Tyler Brill, what a great throw. You don't just paint the shoes like that with any old throw. Black Nike swag. <laughs> VCU down to their last two. It's not looking good for him. Oh, 
Carroll being called out on his own accord, apparently. I'm not sure why. Probably for showing off his glutes there, Mike. Probably. Showboat and jerk. VCU still looking to clinch the life. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Delling with a there nice throw catch combo. The old one two and, and dodgeball. Some call it a left right hook. It's the old throw catch combo. Delling wants to be a hero. Oh, Peter with the flip throw. Hope the camera caught that. Ooh, a nice bob and weave from the opposing VCU. Kind of getting distracted by this uh, pickup basketball game going on the side. It is good. They do have some nice looking shoes over there, Mike. They do. But VCU's last remaining member looks to. Oh! Nevinall narrowly avoids the, sh the toe tag there. Marissa looks to be posing a threat. Wreck it, Ralph, with another pump bait with no ball, proving that it's still in ineffective. The game is really taking a slower pace. Yeah, it's been last a couple of minutes. Oh, Zach mm. Nevinall goes for a risky oh. catch. The double kill. Double kill. With one player left, a double kill is just about the best you're going to get, Mike. Kevin. Ooh. Just a bit outside. Kevin needs to work on bringing that accuracy a little closer in. Needs to paint those corners if you were a baseball fan. Which I am, Mike. Which is Kevin, too. Kevin's which is Kevin, too. Player. Which makes the metaphor that more appropriate. How about them Tigers, huh? How about them Tigers? Uh. <laughs> Off to a 4-0 start? Yeah. Old Papa Bear's happy about that. A.K.A. Father. Is your dad a big baseball fan? My dad is a huge baseball fan. Tigers game is on. Or if it's not on, you can catch him on the couch. Yeah, watch it. baseball. <laughs> Peter Bro looks to suicide. Oh! Oh, oh but he goes out of bounds, but the catch is good, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby with his the jeans catch back is good. In. What? They're not counting it? Yeah, that was a good catch. The referee with a bad decision, but the players make it right. Oh! Wreck oh. it, Ralph drops one. With the eliminator, he looks to catch. Oh! Jeans were not meant to win this one. Scott LaValle with the game winning throw. God damn, there's still 11 minutes left. Oh. I am parched. Me like, too. I feel for commentators nowadays. It ain't easy to keep That's your... That's why they get free hot dogs. Keep your linguistics up. and said, damn, heard me make fun of him and turned around and laughed. <laughs> yeah, that is Penn State. They took a point off Grand Valley, which is mighty That's true. impressive. As I didn't even know they had a team. Kentucky got a point as well. Kentucky's game was actually a game until the second half. Yeah, that's true. The second half was just slaughter. The sheep gathered, Mike. The sheep gathered. This phone's about to die, ladies and gentlemen, until this... Uh, Entertaining live radio broadcast might come to an end as we have a, a mix and match. Yeah, they are changing teams. Apparently, it's pick your own team day here at Nationals. I pick Grand Valley, Mike. <laughs> so, which team is technically Central Michigan? That's the question. Probably the team that wins. <laughs> you want to, uh, we got Sam over here. You, you guys want to guest commentate? We got eight live viewers. It's okay. I had like five. <laughs> Yeah, so go ahead and say your some name. experienced members. Say your name. Sam Murphy here. Uh, what back team do you play for? Uh, DePaul uh, Dodgeball. Oh, uh, we lost the viewer. No one wants to. Uh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this even a thing? I have no idea, Shannon, but we are making it one. <laughs> uh, 
Joe Cobus with a nice dodge from fellow teammate throw, Buffalo. It's an interesting conundrum going on here. I'm not really sure which team is sent to Michigan. happens in DePaul games. That's like, true. That is true. Where the teams just uh, mix and match and do like more of a Red Rover across. Which team would you say is VCU? I would say uh, the far team. Okay. No, like, A nonchalant throw from Jeans. That's his name now. We have uh -oh. uh, Tyler Prill and uh -oh. Chris Kohler joining the broadcast. We have the infamous Tyler Prill and Chris Kohler, a.k.a. The Nug, coming the in nugget. for some guest commentary. Boys, introduce yourselves. Say hi Why is this even a thing? I'm Nugget. He's I'm, Nugget. I'm Tyler Prill. What, what uh, team do you guys play for? Central yep. Michigan University. So they're playing right now. They're taking a break. Yep. Mike and Mike, colorful commentary. We've been doing You're welcome. Before. You are welcome. Zach Davidall with a nice toe tag from the jumping number zero of ECU. Hey, Chris, get in here. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Introduce yourself to our viewers. Hi, everybody. My name is Chris Mike. Kohler, a.k.a. Nugget. No, Nugget. here we go. <laughs> Nugget. Say something about the game, guys. Oh, Again, Buffalo. It's a show, but it's a fun shit show. That's, that's as in-depth as it gets right there. We have seven viewers. We were up to nine at one point. We were. Hi, Mom. Um, they are engaged viewers, however. Hey, I, think, you watch I you? think Rhonda was watching us at one point. Who? Yeah, Rhonda. Rhonda Rousey? Rhonda. No, Rhonda Kohler. Rhonda Rousey? Is Rhonda there? No, I'm not Rhonda Rousey. Looking for a Rhonda. Hey, Mom, are you there? Oh, there's eight now. Yeah. Maybe we were at ten. Were you really? That's so Well, funny. nine, but what, both Wes's parents are watching on one. So yeah. ten. Wow. We need everything we can get here. We got Joe uh, giving his ball to Bryce. Bryce is playing, who currently doesn't attend any college. Joe with the hand <laughs> <laughs> A former CMU student. Took a leave of absence, such as myself, uh, a few semesters ago. It's probably a smart choice to change from his khaki pants. <laughs> He's now wearing gym shorts. We've seen many questionable calls in terms of wardrobe up here, Prill. And frankly, we don't judge. Oh, yeah. Those almost look like skinny jeans back there in the back row. Jeans? Nah, those aren't skinny jeans. Nah, those aren't skinny jeans. Those are actually quite baggy. Yeah, those are pretty baggy. <laughs> For the record, those were baggy jeans. What the hell are you skinny. looking at? Yeah, I'm kind of flying. And death. You know, I, you know, shut up, man. <laughs> I am death. I am death. Oh. You know, after getting smoked in the face earlier from that girl, oh, man. You got smoked in the face by a girl? Oh, that I did. That's something you just can't come back from. Mike, what do you think? No. Ah, uh, that's pretty embarrassing. That is pretty embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. We have a fifth but Tyler guest Cam back. Right. Cam, introduce yourself. I'm Cam, and I play dodgeball. This is what team? I don't know. See, I don't think they can pick that up. We need yeah. to talk a little bit I'm louder. Confused. We got a broadcasting major in the building. Panic yep. attack. We have Cameron Milbrot, who's uh, been the sole proprietor and yeah, producer. Right. I don't know if proprietor was the right word. We're getting fancy. <laughs> of uh, all of our promotional videos and... Video work that he's been done for our team. Yeah, that's what I said after the rider. And we are incredibly grateful. And now he's here blessing us with his producing presence as we commentate the shit out of this game. Woo! 69's got a pretty good arm. It's okay. <laughs> I gave him a compliment that took it away real quick there, Mike. And Tozy. Man, I cannot wait for food. Can I get yeah. an amen? Amen. That's what I'm talking about. You know, Mike, after a long day <laughs> of dodgeball, there's nothing quite like going to Five Guys for a nice Oh, burger. man. Five Guys. Yo, five guys. forget the steak. Five We're going to Five Guys. That sounds good. That burger and then the fries. Fries. Fairly expensive. Yes, Alex is throwing lefty. Alex is throwing lefty? That is true. Uh, great no, observation. <laughs> Our camera must be pretty good if you can Great observation by the viewers that the commentators did not pick up. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to be experiencing some turbulence. <laughs> this phone has like 5% battery. Is airplane going down? Uh, it might be. 
Well, I mean, yeah, this ship's been going cool. down since we took uh, took control, Mike. <laughs> it really has. Started off just being me. <laughs> That's right. And then I have co-pilot was waved in. I was gonna be West, but he decided to play oh, instead. Just took out uh, Wreck It Ralph. Move over on the couch. A man. fierce Your rivalry. He's got some onions. Onions. Everybody's throwing lefty. Uh, it's turned into a lefty game, folks. It's, it's <laughs> one of them classic switch teams lefty games. Ooh, what a catch! There is no order left in this game for basketball. Except for Brian. Brian's throwing right now. Yeah, well, Brian's a, a tryhard. You know what I want to see, Mike? What do you want to see, Mike? I want to see TT McMahon get someone out. I want to see. Well, you're gonna uh, be here for a while. Man. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be mean. Well, we only have three minutes left in a minute. Ooh, I want to see TT and Marissa team throw for an epic oh. out. For for a double face shot, one from each double side of the face cheek. Shot. Rosie up those cheeks, bro. We want to rosie up those cheeks. Which cheeks? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Either regular face cheeks or Brill's awesome cheeks. <laughs> they are pretty swell. Speaking of cheeks, I got smoked in the face earlier in one of our games. Unpleasant. Is that the Maryland game? Uh, it was not the Maryland game. That was the... <laughs> Who do we play first? Kent. Kent, that's right. This is actually the first time we hit the face in that tournament. Never? Yeah. I went to sister. In a tournament. Yeah, did you see it? Yeah, I, I got watched it. I smoked. I tried to act like that didn't shit, that shit didn't hurt. Then I, and then I went to get a drink and I was like, oh. Because like my jaw was open. Oh. And as it hit, it like knocked it sideways. And I was like, ah. That don't affect me, though. Ah. Oh. Do it for the viewers. Number 9.81, Newton is throwing the ball. Zach is steady mobbing trying to hit that between the legs and is not coming anywhere near his target. Not really sure what Newton's doing right now. Oh, nice oh he's catch, catching. Though. That's what he's doing. Nice catch. He's putting out a 9.81. He's putting out a damn clinic. Man, he's Mike. got some mittens on those hands. <laughs> he literally is wearing gloves. He is literally <laughs> wearing gloves. Yes, he is. He's getting, he's getting froggy. Newton's feeling froggy. Oh, oh. Nice. Knocks another one down. Rotates to the left side of oh, the Oh, now he's pointing someone out Babe Ruth style. <laughs> calling it shot. He is calling it shot, bro. Calling it shot. The, oh, the, 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 pump, the pump fake. The pump fake. A second pump and the fake. jittery movements. Kevin's ready to be proud now. He's calling it shot. The salt in the swat. He's going to throw it if you're ready. You're not. Oh. Yeah, that's really Two text messages from Tim. Tim, you're going to have to wait, buddy. <laughs> We're doing a live broadcast. Oh, Titi. Titi almost got a kill. Knocked down by veteran Les Peters. He's really showing his experience in this game, guys. He really is. A savvy vet. Oh, another catch. Sam's wearing a tank hey, plan shirt. Hey, Mike, is, is that a DePaul? Just Apparently, a third team has entered this <laughs> 1v1. I like Tree Beard. Tree Beard's an awesome man. 30 seconds. He's wearing a Wu Tang shirt. It says Wu Tang is Wu -Tang for children. Wu Tang Clan is showing up to play some dodgeball. Jim with a kamikaze. A term notorious in World War II. Newton, that was Newton spread wide looking for a catch. I want to say World War One. I. I think my history's a little off there. The term kamikaze. World War Two. Kamikaze. Two. I was, I was right in the first time. Oh, oh and that's the game. We're gonna end on a history lesson that has no conclusive ending. Uh, that is our game. This has been Mike and Mike with Company, and we'll see you guys later. Drop the foot.